All right, this is my 1998 Jeep Wrangler TJ. And I'm gonna be going through my top five mods that I've enjoyed having, um, ranking from five down to the best, number one um, for me. So number five is gonna be LED lights. I'm gonna group all these together. Um, got a light bar up top, uh, LED blinkers, just the changed out the bulb for a 194. And then I've also got LED headlights, and reverse lights. The headlights are a sealed beam. There's no removable bulb. They're just all watertight and sealed. Um, I've had some other headlights in the past. We did some HIDs at one point, and these are just the best that I've run into. They they never let me down. They don't have any problems. They never get moisture in them. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I think they're like $45 each, so it's about 80 to 100 bucks. Obviously that changes. But LED lights are great, take less power, more reliable. Um, last longer they're usually brighter so I like to think that they're safer um, especially on these side marker lights they they really do light up pretty good all right so all I went right, ahead and opened the hood um, mod number four is adding air conditioning to your Jeep um, this is one of my favorite mods that I've done but I understand that doesn't apply to everyone maybe you live somewhere where you don't ever need AC or maybe your Jeep came with AC but mine did not, and I really wanted it. Um, and your options essentially, if you want AC, are find a Jeep that someone's parting out where they'll sell you the air box and all the parts, or buy all the parts from Mopar aftermarket. Or the third option that I went with is a company called Jeep Air. Um, they're run by a parent company. This is just like a branch of them. They're a pretty big air conditioning parts supplier, and they were amazing to deal with. I had to contact them a few times because they accidentally didn't send me one part. And what ended up happening is they just told me to go buy the part at AutoZone and they paid for, they just sent them the receipt. They re reimbursed me, great experience with them. But um, every Jeep out of the factory is wired for air conditioning. This plug here um, was just dangling down right there. And if you look on yours, I guarantee you've got a plug here. And then back here on the incandescent box is also a plug. It's already wired for AC. You just mount your compressor, your uh, little AC radiator thing here, the condescent box, run the pipes through. They give you a new sticker for your dash. Um, show you right here so you get an idea. This is how my dash looks now. Um, it's got, that's air conditioning. This is also air conditioning and so on. It works amazing. Um, Every part for the air conditioning system is brand new, so you'd expect it to work pretty good, and it does. I mean, it really, really does. Um, I was severely limited because I think from 97 to 99 is the only time they use these slide controls. So buying someone else's air conditioning parts and putting them in was, like, impossible. I couldn't find anyone with slide controls that also had air conditioning that also was getting rid of it. So Jeep Air was really nice. About a 1000 bucks for the kit. Um, but, I mean you break it down the compressors even to buy a compressor is like 300 bucks anyways so it's a pretty good kit i i don't think you could do it much cheaper yourself but i will say that it is quite simple there's really not a lot of parts um involved but this mod i love it it's been great i really wanted air conditioning to me the only options at the time were just to buy a new jeep and i really didn't want to do that so this came was great um but it's not for everyone obviously all right number three is um new seats most of the stock seats wear out, um, especially the driver's side, you get tears and whatnot. These are Corbeo seats. Um, they come in a set, I bought both of them. They also, Corbeo sells brackets. You can mount straight up to your stock sliders. Uh, they just have four bolts that connect to the slider, four that connect to the seat, pretty simple install. Um, these are made of neoprene, which is wetsuit material um, and like memory foam. They're very, uh, very nice to drive with. Um, they recline everything else a little pricey i think they were like 400 a piece with the brackets but well worth it there's they have tons of options they have regular ones and moab these are the moab ones but they're the uh upcharge for neoprene fabric which really to me just depends on your climate what you're doing with them the other ones are just fine but changes the whole driving experience great definitely worth having all right my number two mod for me personally is my door locks um show you here so 
I have put in um, keyed locks or uh, powered door locks. Um, the range is pretty amazing on these. They come in a kit. The kit was $25, which is insanely cheap. It comes with four solenoids um, and a receiver and two remotes already with batteries. And the solenoid just mounts up. I have it right here. Um, it has a little arm, comes out, attaches to your door linkages, grabs it on, and then that's it. You run the wires, my wires right here. Um, and they've been amazing. I had them for $25 and I've had them for probably three years. Every time I get in and out of my Jeep, I use the, I've never put the key in the lock basically since I've installed it. Although you can, I mean, you can manipulate these manually then nothing's, nothing's stopping you there. Um, but these have been amazing. You know, you don't have to reach over and undo the door for your passenger. Um, it comes with, uh, a setup so that you can wire in a button if you want or like an unlock lock button on the dash or however you want I didn't do any of that because I wanted to keep it kind of hidden so you only knew it was there if you knew it was there it was really nice I mean you never you can't see it unless you know it's put on or you see the wire but um, they've been great I haven't even had to change the batteries in three years I have a buddy who has a 97 Ford Ranger we use the same $25 kit off Amazon put them in on his and they've been working. I mean, I've never even had to adjust anything. It's been been great. And they're my second favorite modem on this run. And I definitely use them every time I get in the Jeep, so. All right. And my number one, my number one favorite mod that I've done to my Jeep is gonna be my doubled in radio. Um, there's lots of videos out there that show people doing these and depending on why you're doing it, I think is why you'll enjoy it the most. I wanted it for Google maps. Um, whenever I drive somewhere trying to get the directions on my phone, it would go over the radio. I'd reach down and try to get my phone. It just turned into a nightmare. Um, Apple CarPlay is amazing. And, uh, just having the maps or whatever at your, you know, in front of you like this, you're driving along. Um, I, I love it. It's, you know, whether you're off-roading, they have off-road apps, you know, if you have Android auto or you want to listen to your music or this one can watch movies. If you, um, you put an SD card in, make phone calls, um, and I might get some hate for that, but it, it has been great. It's a very easy install. Like I said, there's a bunch of videos out there. If you want to do it, um, don't be scared. They, they send you this whole dash piece for about a hundred bucks there's a support bar that goes right through the center here uh plastic you have to cut out i just use a blowtorch and a butter knife and literally just cut it out radio goes right in mounts up my kit gave me a little extender that push this dash piece out a little bit just like little spacers they give you a new plate right here um use your old piece here the vents move over it's great it's been it's been a dream uh to have just just basically a GPS is really what you need. It's it's definitely my favorite. Um, obviously these these mods are all specific to who you are and what you like. Um, I didn't even touch on off road, you know, lifts, tires, gears. That's all kind of um, specific to people's situations. But these are just the most um, my top five mods that I found to make driving my Jeep every day enjoyable. Um, then there's some other things that I didn't mention in this video because they didn't make my top five, like power windows. I haven't had those long enough to really say if, how good they are, but I made a whole video on the install for those. So if you're interested in that, check that out. I've also got my steering wheel was starting to look really bad. So I restitched it, got new leather. There's a company called Redline Goods. Um, they make a whole kit for the TJ for the whole new leather for your wheel the they send you the thread you know that's all great um obviously there's things like floor mats sound systems and so on but these are just the top five that i've thought of that i've enjoyed the most thanks for watching